How's it going fam? Welcome back to Erica's EDC and today we are looking at some beautiful Spyderco knives. Also Nikki's here and she probably didn't know I was going to say that. Nikki say hi. Hi. Nikki put the kitty claws in for a second. Mm -hmm. Kitty claws are here. We're just truck bed chilling and today we're going to talk about the test knives coming up because we have a few. We've already tested that one. It's here for reference because it has a regrind. So we're going to test a regular stock native in Maximit up against the reground Rex 45. And we're also gonna put the Sage 5 Lightweight up against the Native 5 Lightweight because they're pretty comparable, really similar in size, weight, all that good stuff. But we do have the compression lock at our advantage on the Sage. I also totally just annihilated that edge this morning on accident by digging it into the ground. So that was fun. So I'm gonna have to fix that. But other than that, we're good to go. This is what we're gonna be testing for August, guys, because it is my birthday month. I figured we could do something really fun, so we're gonna do the models up against each other. We're testing Maximit because I have tried twice to test it now, and every time it gets interrupted, so third time's a charm, right? We're gonna be testing this and kind of seeing which one we like better out of the two of these. Nikki, Nikki, mm -hmm. do you wanna chime in? What do you feel about these? Um, do you have one that you prefer? This one. Why do you like this one better? Why do you like the Sage 5 better? Uh, it's thinner. Okay, yeah. Although it's bigger, right? Um, it, it might be like a is hair longer. Let's see. It maybe is just a touch longer, but they're really similar in size. I just like it. I like it because it's uh, simple. And I okay. Like the logo on there okay um do you like anything about this one mm, i like this part here the swedge yep okay That's cool looking what about the pocket clips i just oh, got these i really like this pocket clip yeah that one has a really cool finish that is mm -hmm. the industrial heat finish from lynch northwest so that's another aspect that we're testing guys is these pocket clips because as you know the wire clip that comes with the Sage is absolute garbage. Don't even try running it. It will bend on you and you're gonna lose your knife. So we have a Lynch Northwest clip on both of these. I don't feel that the Native actually needs a different clip, but I just really like the Native 5 pocket clip from Lynch Northwest, so I threw one on here. Um, this one has an MXG, whoa, we're gonna die. This one has an MXG gear clip. So that's a really good one too, but that is made overseas, whereas the Lynch clips are made in the good old US of A. So we're always opting for that. But first impressions, that's what this video is gonna be about real quick. So these are going head to head. There really aren't a ton of differences aside from the locks, because if you look, we have flat grinds on both of these. They're really similar blade shapes. They're really similar stock thickness. Um, we're just looking at a little more of a robust overall design on the Native 5, especially with that lock back. And the compression lock is equally as strong, but it's just a little more fidgety. Um, it just feels a little more modern, I guess, as opposed to the lock back. You can still fidget with these, but it's a little slower to do so. So that's a that's kind of the main difference here. We have more of a rectangular shape on the Native 5. I do feel that the Sage is a little more ergonomic. It's just less sharp. Like even if we look at how they rounded the corners on this portion of the knife, obviously the Sage is taking a huge advantage with the rounding. And we do have the choils and the jimping on both of these, but again, I just feel the Sage is a little more a little more comfortable in hand. Sorry that Jasmine is barking. Um, she wants to go inside. <laughs> so the Native 5 is really comfortable, but when you squeeze it, you definitely feel that it's just a little more of a rectangular shape. And that's why you can take a sanding tool or a Dremel, whatever you're more comfortable with, and you can just round off all of these sharp edges on the Native 5 Lightweight. This one is completely modded from a couple of friends that put this together for me. We have rounding 
on the forward choil, the jimping, and the rest of the knife itself, but just way more comfortable in hand when you do that. If you don't feel comfortable modding your knives and voiding the warranty, then maybe the Sage might be better for you because you really shouldn't have to do any rounding on this model. Look, it's very, very comfortable. Uh, aside from that, we do have bi-directional texturing on both knives. We have a really similar blade shape on both knives. Obviously, the Maximit will outperform the S30V any day, but we're not really... That's not even a, that's not even a comparison. Um, spidey holes, all that good stuff. You don't have to move so slow. I just don't want to interrupt. You're not interrupting. Not Nikki interrupt. hurt her knee. Nikki hurt her knee, so now she's sad. Um, obviously no sharpening choil. We don't really get those on spider coes. I may insert one at some point, but we will see about that. Um, yeah, just a lot of, a lot of similarities. You know, we have lanyard holes on both um screw construction they really are quite similar just aside from like i said the locking mechanisms and obviously the steel but i'm really curious to see which one i end up liking more out of this duo we will be using a modded native five lightweight for reference as well to just see which one slices better you know obviously in theory this one should slice better but i want to see if it's like an actual noticeable difference between the stock thickness of a native five and then a reground one so there's that you can figure out all of the details for this mod and regrind over on my review of this knife i'm not going to go through all of that because as you can see this has been completely customized there is a full review on this under my knife reviews playlist so you can get that info on a regrind on the dyeing and on the mods but i like that one you like that one out of all three the most mm -hmm. yeah. why um <laughs> i like the color of what the scales yeah and the blade you like the, the forced finish. patina? Yeah. yeah, that does look really cool. I love that. They did an excellent job on that. It looks killer. And this knife is like such, it, it's a really good performer. She's thick, that's what she said. She's, she's thin, she's been reground. No, I mean, what do you she's mean? thick here. She's she thick. That's where it did get reground, silly. This is, that's way thinner than this one. Oh, wow. That thick. That's as thick as your booty. This is like, my booty. She has her head down on the truck bed laughing. <laughs> Nikki has a thick booty. Okay, there, we just said it. Um, so those are all of the things that we're going to be going over, guys. Hopefully this is interesting to you. I've had a ton of people ask which model I like better in terms of comparing the Sage 5 lightweight and the Native 5 lightweight. Um, obviously, I'm not going to do a spoiler, spoiler alert. I have a lot of experience with both of these. I've had them before. I've kind of tested them i obviously have an idea of which one i like more but we're going to just keep that a surprise until the review and put them through their paces that's all i have for you guys today i will see you on the next video go use your shit learn how to sharpen your knives and i will see you so soon take care and i love you all nikki say goodbye bye bye